You wouldn't kill a starving family to feed homeless people in LA, would you? So why kill defenseless animals to feed homeless people in LA? This is Face the Facts Friday, where you get no BS takes on the latest vegan news, followed by a roast of the worst anti-vegan comments I've seen this week in our Meat Flakes of the Week. So get ready to get facts. Foo Fighters frontman and former Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl traded a night on a smoky stage for an all-nighter at the Smoker. The rock star spent the night whipping up barbecue for people at a shelter in Los Angeles. Roll then helped serve up his brisket, ribs, coleslaw, and beans to 450 guests and 50 staff members. Now, Dave Grohl's clearly a good guy. He was just trying to help people, but actually, this sanctuary owner says it pretty well. And this is a message for Dave Grohl. I think you're wonderful. This message is with peace and love in my hi, 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 You made 500 pounds of pulled pork for homeless people. It was a wonderful thing to try and help the homeless people. There are still victims in that situation. These are the animals that suffer when you do stuff like that. 500 pounds of pulled pork is probably like four or five babies. Pigs are slaughtered at six months old at 250 pounds. They are either gassed, their throats are cut. It's a pretty horrific way to die. And they're raised in confinement. It's pretty horrible. So I'd love, love, love to have you come here. I'm the founder of Arthur's Acres Animal Sanctuary. No one has to suffer when you have a giving heart. And so I'd love to talk to you a little more about that. So please share this message and hopefully, um, it will get out to people. You wouldn't kill a starving family to feed homeless people in LA, would you? So why kill defenseless animals to feed homeless people in LA? You're just screwing over one vulnerable group of innocents for another vulnerable group of innocents. Come on, man. One more word and I will feed you to my children. A hunter shot and killed two German Shepherd dogs with a crossbow and then skinned them for their fur because he thought they were coyotes. Wait, what? He says he's ashamed of what he did. If only he'd shot the wild dogs instead of the domesticated dogs. Then no one would have to feel bad and he wouldn't have to feel ashamed, would he? Oh, here's an idea. This is crazy. Stop shooting animals with a crossbow. Psycho. A village school in Uganda just got an award from PETA for being the first primary school in Uganda to serve all vegan food to their students. Someone should tell these Ugandan village kids to check their privilege. Veganism is a cis, white, racist, sexist ideology that only rich people can afford. Veganism is kind of a cis, white, male philosophy for life. Not all areas of the world have the, ge like the topography to have these vast swaths of <laughs> monocrops, areas in the Middle East, let's say, where it's very, you know, very mountainous. And the only way that some of these women that live there, you're not able to own land, they're not it able to, better. you know, it own their better. own homes, but they're able to participate in animal husbandry. And so this idea of <laughs> everyone should be vegan, kind of sexist, uh, uh, maybe a lesser degree, a bit racist as well, because you can't expect everybody to eat that way. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> a vegan who tried to get his own personalized license plate for his car got rejected by the government. This doesn't sound like an interesting story at all, but... It is. It's like an eye test for a dirty mind. What do you see when you look at this license plate? Well, the state of Maine saw the F-U at the end and recalled the plates, while the owner saw only plates of tofu. My license plate literally says, love tofu. I'm just a vegan, no ill intentions. Do you believe him? Or do you think he knew exactly what he was doing? Answers in the comments. A woman just got jailed for killing and eating her pet hamster. An RSPCA inspector said this type of cruelty has no place in today's society and was a heartless, vicious attack on a defenseless animal. Hold up, aren't you the same RSPCA that approves all sorts of mutilations to animals in animal agriculture? I work for the RSPCA and I monitor farms for the RSPCA Assured Scheme. The RSPCA Assured Scheme is so important. When you see that logo, it means that the animal has been reared in an environment that's as natural as possible. The animal has had the best possible life it can. RSPCA Shield Scheme is so important. When you see that logo, it means that the animal has been reared in an environment that's as natural as possible. The animal has had the best possible life it can. 99% of people upset about this hamster puts animals through much worse just for a sandwich. Go vegan. A business class passenger on a flight was given a banana as the in-flight vegan meal. I feel 
was shocked. This is news? What are we gonna complain about next? Starbucks charging people more for vegan milk? Today, a group of protesters took a stance outside the Starbucks. Save the planet, save the cows, and the vegan upcharge now. Starbucks claims it cares about sustainability, yet it's still charging customers up to 90 cents extra for non-dairy milks. Business class flights and Starbucks. We're not doing a very good job of convincing people veganism isn't a bloody first world privilege, are we? Your white veganism is disgusting. If you're rich enough to fly business class, you're probably rich enough to do yourself a little vegan packed lunch. It's called preparation. Welcome to veganism. This guy knows what's up. Tell me the most vegan thing you've ever done. But now he's getting cancelled because apparently eating a sweet potato is performative veganism and colonizer behavior. <laughs> <laughs> The National Food Crime Unit in England is investigating some food fraud involving sliced beef that was supposed to be British, but actually came from South America and Europe. The meat industry lying to the public. <laughs> that never happens. Here's something you'll want to make room for. The story of a food so natural, it takes the rain from the sky and the plants we humans cannot eat and turns it into something wonderful, meat and dairy. First of all, that's some gorgeous drone footage. Much better than the drone footage they could have used from other British cattle farms. Takes the rain from the sky. It takes almost 1,800 gallons to produce one pound of beef. The plants we humans cannot eat. Wow, I wonder who planted all those fields of alfalfa. It's sure lucky we have 10 million cows around to eat it. Hey, but don't worry. As long as it's local, that makes it okay. Right? At least the National Food Crime Unit is doing their job and protecting the public from food fraudsters. But who's protecting you from internet fraudsters? That's where today's sponsor, ExpressVPN, comes in. Going online without a VPN is like leaving your house naked. If anyone wants to have a look, they could do so pretty easily. ExpressVPN encrypts your data and stops anyone from trying to get in to see your private information. It also hides your IP address, which makes it more difficult for the Zuckerbergs of the world to sell all your information to advertisers. Another bonus of using ExpressVPN is when you want to look at country-specific content. When I make these videos every week, I've got to go and get news reports from all different countries. Oftentimes, there is a location block on, meaning I can't access them unless I'm using a VPN to trick the web website into thinking that I'm in that country. So this will come in really handy for anyone who has a similar problem. ExpressVPN is offering my audience three months for free. So you can go and try it out. When you support my sponsors, you're directly supporting me. So if you're in the market for a VPN, get over there and sign up with my unique link, which you'll find in the pinned comment and the description of this video. A calf with a smiley face marking on his body was born on an Australian farm. The farmers liked the calf so much they decided not to kill him. You're a funny guy, Sally. I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you last. This one amuses me. Don't kill this one. Yes, yes, kill the rest, but not this one. This one's funny. Sick people. A cafe owner in Australia has been called a murderer and a rapist because she put bacon back on the menu of her previously vegan cafe. The vegans accused her of being a liar, a fraudster, that she'd been faking it, that she never cared about animals and she was selling her soul for money. They even accused her of never being vegan in the first place and just trying to use veganism for publicity. Now listen vegans, we're getting a very bad reputation out there, okay? We need to- oh, it says she's now given up veganism. She's crying to the media to try and get simple Sympathy and make herself feel better. Pathetic. Japanese dolphin hunters have been killing mother dolphins and their babies during the annual drive hunt off the coast of Taiji. They drive the dolphins to a bay, then slaughter them right there in the water. It's a violent tradition that has no place in 2023. I spoke with the legendary Captain Paul Watson, co-founder of Greenpeace, founder of Sea Shepherd, and now the Captain Paul Watson Foundation, who's been trying to defend dolphins and other marine life for 50 years. It was an incredibly inspiring interview, and I can't wait to share it with you all. Keep your eyes on the channel, it's coming soon. Scientists have created baby mice from two fathers for the first time, meaning they got two male mice and were able to make a baby mouse from the male cells. They've been trying to do this for years, abusing and killing probably hundreds if not thousands of mice along the way. Why would they do all of this? Oh, it's to open up possibilities for gay couples to have their own babies. LGBT vegans, what's going on? Let's do something about this, please. A young cow escaped from a slaughterhouse in the USA and was fighting for her life on the streets. A wild 
seen in the middle of the day on the streets of Canarsie. Dozens of people chasing after a four-month-old calf that escaped a slaughterhouse. Everybody just came out of the stores and we were all trying to herd it into a corner, but she was feisty. She put up a fight. Cell phone video shows staff from Saba Life Poultry trying to grab the calf. Management of the slaughterhouse on Rockaway Avenue would not go on camera, but an employee told News 4 the calf slipped from a truck and ran for about a mile. They caught her and it looked like she was going to be going back to the slaughterhouse, but for once we have good news. It turns out the farm has agreed to give up the cow to a local sanctuary. People start to identify with that one animal, you know, they're they see the desperation in the animal's face when they're fighting for their lives. Mike Stura works with Skylands Animal Sanctuary, providing care and shelter to a number of cows. Here you go. Here's a couple. Here's a couple of our kids right here. <laughs> so, some of these actually are uh, our slaughterhouse escape these. What a fantastic ending to a tragic story. Activists who rescued two chickens from a slaughter truck have just been found not guilty after they were accused of being tried for stealing. Great news, and thank you to all activists who put their freedom on the line to save animals. Now it's time to respond to some of the worst anti-vegan comments I've seen this week in today's Meat Flakes of the Week. If you're vegan, you might not want to wear a satanic goat hat, just a tip on consistency. Although I do find a lot of satanists are vegan, but satanism is totally insane, so it kind of makes sense too. You do realize goats are just animals, right? They're not satanists. Or am I missing something? Are all goats satanists? I love eating pork, chicken, beef while slicing them up alive and throwing them into boiling water. They're so delicious. Tell me you're a 12-year-old on YouTube shorts without telling me you're a 12-year-old on YouTube shorts. Fun fact, plants can technically scream. Fun fact, no they can't. Protein, give me my protein. Like if you like protein. <laughs> like this video if you can spell protein. I am glad that I am a carnivorous. <laughs> I swear I feel bad roasting some of these because I feel like most of them are 10. You are vegan is the problem. You are not vegan is the problem. Bro, who cares? You can't force us. Our life, our rules. Totally. Anyone can do whatever they want to anyone at any time. Our lives, our rules, right? There's no need to have people have morals or make ethical decisions. Come on, come on now. Burgers, bacon, and beef jerky is good. Not vegan. I'm glad you specified the not vegan part because before that, I was thinking you were just a supportive vegan on my channel. Thanks for pointing that one out for me, mate. Appreciate it. What about honey from bees? Who consumes the honey if not humans? <laughs> Oh my God. Why do you think bees make honey? Google, why do bees make honey? And you've got your answer. If you don't eat meat as a men, you lost, you are not a men. I would hope I'm not a men. I don't think I've got any kind of split personality disorder. I, I, I think I'm one person, I think. We need some percentage off meat. Check your teeth if you don't believe me, but okay, we kill too much animals. Well, I need to check my teeth to see what percentage I can get taken off meat at the store. Is this like some kind of teeth related sale? Is that what we're getting at here? Look at Mr. Numpty, aka David Rams. He's a food Nazi. He tries to force others to do what he claims is healthy, but actually is not. He's an a-hole food fascist who doesn't recognize eating plant-based food is just as morally reprehensible as eating animal-based food. He's a hypocrite and buffoon who tries to virtue signal but fails utterly in his vain, glorious attempt at being an influencer. He is to be laughed at. Isn't Paul just exactly the person you'd expect to send this message. Animals are here for our use and enjoyment. Interesting logic. Where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, that's what people said about women, people of other races, people of other castes, people of certain surnames. It's not good logic to be using, mate. Don't say things like that. Man, I beat the chicken, tasted nice. Beating a chicken gave you a nice taste in your mouth? You should probably get therapy, mate. All the soy boy vegans complaining about hunters here don't understand that we hunters have more love for our, all animals than any vegan has ever had, including the ones we hunt. Whenever I want to show love to someone, I shoot them through the heart. That's how we love each other. Don't be vegan. Eat meat, pork, chicken, steak. No. After watching this, I want to have my own meat slaughterhouse. You want to slaughter meat? The animals are already dead. Why would you have a meat slaughterhouse? David Rams, you are a serious danger for other people with your religious propaganda and blind preaching. Do yourself a favor and stop being a public voice. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. That's incredibly ableist, okay? I'm not blind preaching, I, I can see. And what would be wrong with blind preachers? You think people can't preach if they're blind? Disgust, just disgraceful, disgraceful. Well, being vegan is stupid. It's one of these woke BS things people do to get cloud. They are all hypocrites and vague as fuck. I've been a vegan for a very long time, and trust me when I say this, I've never had any clouds. Like, if I could get a cloud, 
and I could get a cloud, like take one, like a real cloud. I would love that. That'd be amazing. But no, unfortunately, no, no, it's not something we do to get cloud. If you want to support me making more videos about animal rights and veganism, please consider joining my Patreon team. You'll be directly helping me put out more videos with a strong vegan message, and you'll be able to talk with me directly using the Patreon messaging system. You could also join the YouTube membership team, which doesn't have that DM option, but does give you a pretty cool green logo on your name so everyone can see that you're an absolute legend. I can't do this important work without your support, so please do consider joining my team. And thank you again to everybody who's already a member. Keep calling out that BS. I'll catch you in the next one.